How do you calculate an accurate volume difference between two drone surveys? It's simple. Create a cut and fill map. In this video, I will show you seven best practices for your digital earthworks project. Right after this. Number one, cut and fill maps. To calculate a volume difference, select a boundary, set the reference state, and click Volume Difference. The cut and fill map appears, and the volumes are shown in the lower left corner. You typically want to set a minimum value to show as colors. This allows you to hide the noise that will always be present between the drone surveys. Number two, cut versus fill. By default, the cut and fill map is shown as continuous colors. You can also set it to discrete colors. Red means cut and blue means fill. Cut is the material that will be cut away from the current state to the reference state. So in this case, from December 22nd until January 2nd. Fill is the volume that you're going to deposit in the current state, like this ramp. That will be raised for improved accessibility. Number three, reference states. You can change the reference state of your cut and fill map at any time. The colors will update automatically. But the volume difference is not available yet for this new reference state. You can initiate that calculation by clicking the circling arrow here. The net, cut and fill volume appear in the lower left corner. I can do this for all the other terrain states that I have in my project, like February 22nd and March 1st. Number four, work areas. It is a good practice to create one cut and fill map per work area. This has another advantage. When I pin this cut and fill map, it will also appear in all the other states. So, when I go to January 2nd, I get the same map, but looking in the opposite time direction. Cut becomes fill, and fill becomes cut. This helps you understand really well what's going on in your area. For the human brain, it is easier to think something existing away than to imagine something that isn't there yet, like this ramp. It is all about visual references. Number five, clean terrain. Machines like this excavator here come with every drone project. Of course, you don't want to include them in your volume difference calculations. They can easily be removed with the clean terrain tool from the home tab. I simply trace around the excavator and right click to remove it. The cut and fill map updates immediately. I continue to do this for the bulldozer this truck, and so on. I also see these blue areas here. This indicates there are machines in the reference terrain state. I need to remove them as well. Finally, I need to recalculate the volume difference by clicking the circling arrow. Number six, replacement surfaces. For machines that hang over breaks in the terrain, you need to create a replacement surface. I've traced this bucket wheel excavator very roughly. Identify the boundary and remove these vertices by pressing delete. Then I add some brake lines to model the breaks in the terrain. I triangulate within the boundary and can modify the terrain to the resulting surface. Number seven, terrain states. So, how do we actually create a terrain state? Click in the terrain states drop down menu, enter a name, and click enter. Typically, you give it a name based on a date or a design scenario you want to compare with. When you select the terrain state, it will become active. You can now load your new drone ortho and DSM in the project view. If you already have added the drone survey in another terrain state, then you can cut 
and paste the terrains to the state you have selected. I will show you more about terrain states in another video. Thank you for watching. Continue to watch some of our other videos. Also, click the logo to subscribe to the channel and keep up with new videos.